We're born moving. We move before we speak. Moving is at the core of our existence, but intellectual and discursive knowledge are commonly privileged over embodied knowledge, and we tend to think of the body as not much more than a complex machine. I create frameworks and structures to redress this imbalance. Body extensions for performance and play that bring our thinking through the body, that engage the body through the imagination and the imagination through the body to facilitate listening and learning through physical experience. This is hip disc. It gives the body musical capabilities. Awkward movement results in awkward music, played one note at a time. You don't need to be graceful or dexterous to play hip disc. It democratizes engagement by bringing awkwardness to the fore. Hip disc allows us to see how people learn in, through, and about their bodies. Learning new things makes learning easier. Learning through the body increases our ability to communicate and to engage with the world. Hip disc emerged from an embodied process. It requires core body engagement and really prompts deep thinking about what might constitute an embodied practice. If we listen and think through our bodies, we can bring unarticulated thoughts and desires into being. This is useful when we're trying to imagine future technologies. We can bring into being exploratory devices that that somehow embody desires and, and that help us to articulate things, to, to imagine technologies 200 years from now. The OWL project interviews, we created a series of body devices to really elicit magical thinking and to bring people's unarticulated body technology desires to the fore. We asked simple questions like, what does it feel like? What does it do? And if it contains some technology that hasn't been imagined before, what kind of magical powers would it give you? <laughs> the responses people gave were so surprising. Uh, they were highly personal and sometimes very moving. So we created the OWL Circle workshops. They're a bit like sewing circles to enable people to create their own exploratory devices. <laughs> Working in this way can really support large technology shifts. It's, it's very different to working from scenarios and, and basing the future on what we already know. So I... I'm the first artist to um, receive, to do a PhD, a practice-based fine arts PhD at CSIRO. It's Australia's National Scientific Research Organisation. Working in a scientific and engineering context really challenged me to think in new ways about the body as a site for discovery and play. It also prompted me to, to think deeply about what might be the advantages of blurring the distinction between art and everyday life. I spent a year at the University of Tokyo with Alvaro Casanelli, extending the body with light. We made three kinds of garments. The laser spine magnifies the movement of the spine. The complex technology is the body. The inertia leads really afford embodied play through time and space. And the invisible skirt extends the body it, it, we map one person's movement onto another person's skirt, and it creates a visual bridge between the body and the world. We worked with two choreographers, Alessio Silvestro and Kentaro, and they had very different ways of thinking about and working with the technology and the ideas, and it prompted different refinements in the garments.
I want the future to be full of opportunities for poetic kinesthetic discovery and play. I've started thinking about how my work might transform healthcare. The light arrays, for example. If you think about it, if you're asked to do something like this, this kind of movement every two hours, for months, maybe even for years. Now try to imagine if you're asked to do something creative every two hours, to, to draw something that has meaning for you, to, to write the names of your, your grandkids on the ceiling, to, to trace the contours of the room with light. It's a very different kind of conversation. Now, blurring the distinction between art and everyday life, I believe can transform the way we do so many things, and I'd really like to ask you to join me on this journey. Thank you.